Welcome back, Coil Pack. Today we'll be going through a Click Teams Firefly tutorial for a uh, um, AI patrolling path. So the first thing we're going to do is add a primitive node. Just add it up here somewhere, and we're going to rename it AI. We're going to change it from size ten to three. We're going to change the X position to forty, the Y position to ten. We're going to scroll down further and turn on collisions, but we're not going to do anything with the radiuses yet. You'll see why in a minute. Let me just scroll this up. All right, so we're going to right click, clone object, and we're going to make one row, three columns. That way we'll have three different ones. We're going to take AI2 and just rename it AI, or first we're going to take AI and rename it left. That way we can rename this one AI. And then we're going to rename the last one right. And with the AI, we're going to go back and change those radiuses now. So, so we <coughs> we didn't change it earlier, so we wouldn't have to change it for the left and right nodes. So we're going to change it to 3. And that's all we have to do for setting up, really. Um, if you want to run the frame and look at it, or sorry, we still need to change the Z values. So for left, we're going to change the Z value to 25. And we're going to change the right value to negative 25. And now you'll see that there's squ three squares off to our right. And that's all we have to do for setting up. Um, you can play with those if you want. Play with the values, space it out. We're going to go over to the event editor. And at the start of frame, we're going to change the AI direction. So AI, select direction, and we're going to keep it, we're going to keep zero selected, but we're also going to select 16. That way it randomly jumps between zero and 16. And we're going to add two more start commands. So insert, new event, start a frame, and we will need to also insert a direction command. So the direction of AI, compare it. The first one's going to be zero. We're going to copy and paste that and change this to 16 for the second one. And basically, it's just going to read this start of command frame or start of frame command and see if the direction has been set, set to zero or 16. If it's set to zero, we will need, or we want to add a path movement with the Firefly um, element. So path, move to node, and we're going to move towards the right node. So enter Firefly node, this fixed value, this is what we want to control. And since we want to control the AI, we retrieve the fixed value of AI and press OK. And then we're going to use the X coordinate of right. So right click on right, node properties, position, get x coordinate. And we could enter 10 for the y coordinate since that's where we're set, but it will be easier um, in the long run to use the node property position y coordinate of AI. That way, if you were to go back into the properties and change it to, let's say, 5, because you don't need it that high, it will automatically change and click or in the event editor rather than have to come through anytime you move this node and change that to five every time. I'm just going to press OK. And we want the Z coordinate of right. So node properties, position, get Z coordinate. And then we're going to set the speed to three and the engine. We're going to retrieve the fixed value of the engine and just to make it easy, just drag and drop. And then we can right click and edit and replace any instant where it says right with left. And that'll be all for starting up. So if we were to. One moment.
we're going to start up the frame, you'll see that it just went to the right. Hopefully, it can go to the left pretty soon. It randomly generates between, or it randomly chooses between the left and right direction. And now to make that actually patrol, we're going to add a new group of events and call it AI Patrol. And our first condition, we are going to see if AI has collided with a particular node. And we're going to test for the left node first. So we're going to retrieve the fixed value of left. And we can just drag and drop these since we already have the commands made. Um, you want to put the right movement down into the left, and then we can copy and paste this, and we'll change this left to right. And we'll drag and drop the left movement down to right. Now if we were to run the frame, you'll see that the cube bounces back and forth as, as if it's patrolling. If you want to come over, you can select these and make uncheck the visible box. That way you don't see them actually in the frame. You'll see that it's moving back and forth. And you can add more primitives as nodes to see um, or as spots. So if you want to make a square patrol or a rectagon patrol or whatever you want to make, um, just play around with that sort of. The link for Firefly will be down in the description as well as Click Team. You will need the standard or developer edition of Click Team in order to use Firefly, um, unlike the free version that I base, that I will be basing a lot of my tutorials on. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.